Well, the organization these two pilots were part of has a history of more than 70 years assisting the United States Air Force. Civil Air Patrol is a nonprofit funded by the federal government, but it's made up of volunteers. Now, Kiani TV4's Eddie Dowd was on Kauai yesterday talking with some of the longtime members of the organization. Eddie, you're back this morning as they grieve the loss of one of their own. The organization's nickname for many in the Air Force is CAP, the acronym for the Civil Air Patrol. Now, it's run by volunteers, and its origins date all the way back to World War II. In 1948, President Harry Truman signed a law that incorporated the volunteer group into the U.S. Air Force after the organization played a crucial role in assisting the war effort. Now, that included patrol duties, missing aircraft searches, and disaster relief missions. Many of those efforts continue to this day. We spoke with one man who has been involved in CAP for 20 years on Kauai. It's a great organization and, uh, you know, it's a lot of value, like I said, to our communities and, and they get called upon when most needed. And, and again, I got to emphasize, it's a volunteer organization. Uh, no one gets paid. It, it was tragic. Uh, it's heartbreaking. You know, the, the squadron is a family. It's an ohana. Another big role of CAP is its cadet program where youth can work with volunteers in the organization. Now, the organization also played a big role during 9-11. According to the organization's website, a CAP plane was the only non-military aircraft allowed in the nation's airspace the day after the attacks and provided officials with the first high-resolution images of the World Trade Center site. Reporting in the newsroom, Eddie Dowd, KITV4, Island News.